minutes we are headed back out to the deer camp. Just now realizing there's a couple things that I forgot, but I don't think any of it's going to be a deal breaker. We'll just have to rough it. I was out here yesterday afternoon and saw two small bucks. I actually grunted them in. That's a good sign that, that the rut is uh, kicked off. And maybe we'll have some good luck while we're out here. Now it's already pretty late in the afternoon. Right? You might be able to see down there. It's 1.45 already. Which means by the time we get out there, we're gonna have to make camp pretty quick if we wanna get out and hunt this afternoon. Um, the good the good news is uh, there's a, a pretty even chance that we may actually see a deer while we're setting up camp. I mean, heck, it's been like three years since anybody's taken a deer out here. So, hey, we got that going for us. And hopefully, it won't take us very long to set up the camp. We got a new setup this year. We're using the One Tigress Rock Fortress tent. The same wood stove. We've always used the Winterwell Nomad. Everything else should pretty much be the same. Okay, so we got the tent up. Show you the inside as it stands right now. Got the stove there, bed there. Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, I'll flesh it out a little bit more when we get back from hunting. Because if I'm going to get any hunting done this afternoon, I got to head out right now. Well, the fire is feeling pretty cozy. I was just getting ready to heat something up for dinner and realized that I didn't bring a fork or a spoon. And what I brought was stew and soup. 
so I guess I better carve something. <laughs> you know, I used to keep a, a box out here that had a bunch of stuff like that in it. But I pulled that out along with everything else. earlier on this year. It's coming along. Alright. <clears throat> Not my best work by far. But I reckon it'll work. Look at how hot the stove is getting. It is pretty warm in here. I just threw a big log in there too. Yeah. Perfect. Alright. Let me stand up. Maybe we can see better. Alright, so the first thing on the menu this I brought out here frozen it's still kind of frozen but this is a deer meat stew with vegetables my lovely wife made this for me Yeah. This is a uh, it's pretty cozy in here. I like it. <laughs> there we go. That was pretty good, but I'm still hungry, so we're going to have some chunky chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Alright, got some crackers that I threw in here, and this is amazing. It is uh, 38 degrees outside and 61 degrees inside. Very nice. So, we've been doing real good seeing small bucks. Saw two out here yesterday when I was dropping off all my gear. And I saw four today. I got two of them on camera. I think the biggest one might have been a six pointer, maybe. So, got to rest up, and, and it's going to be below freezing in the morning. Hopefully either we'll see a doe or a big buck. <laughs> All right. Good night, y'all. Morning. We 
survived. The fire is out. But, uh, they throw a little bit of wood in there and get warmed up and get to our hunting spot. Breakfast is granola bars. <laughs> because I didn't bring nothing good for breakfast. This was tough. Never thought it'd be this difficult to get a doe. This was a tough shot. I really had to thread the needle through all these trees right here. It was probably about a 75 yard shot. It's below freezing out here. So I'm gonna keep on hunting see what else we get.
man. Oh, man. Holy smokes. Look at Oh, this is gonna suck dragging him out. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy. Dude. Look. He doesn't have any brow tines. He's a six pointer. <laughs> And he broke off his tip right there. Look at that. That might be his. This is crazy. <laughs> this is the biggest buck I've ever seen out here by far. And there was another one. There was deer everywhere all at once. You know, I got that doe at like 7 o'clock. Here it is, it's like 9.30. This guy was sniffing around the dead doe. But there was another little buck over here. And then there was a really big bodied deer up on top of this hill and I kept trying to see that one <laughs> and I was thinking this was you know one of the smaller ones that I'd been seeing and then I turned around and I, I saw that rack and I was like oh you know, he's he's good enough he is good enough he's got a big body on him too and you can tell he's rutting, man. He stinks. <laughs> and the the big one up on top of the hill, I never, never did see. And whenever I shot, deer scattered in in all directions. Man. All right, let's uh get to work and uh, get these guys back to the camp. So the knife of the day is, once again, this case knife that I've been using all season. I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably gut these guys, get them back to the camp, hang them up if I can. They're both pretty big. I don't know if I can get both of them hung up. Uh, and then go back to the house and get the cooler, bring the cooler out, and then fill up the cooler with the quarters and everything, uh, and then pack the meat out that way. Because trying to get two big mature deer out from this camp is gonna be crazy <laughs> well I got them both gutted now I gotta get them back to the camp but while I was doing this my dad sent me a trail camera picture that he got out on the family farm look at that dude <laughs> Dang! 
Tis the season, huh? Well, my beautiful, lovely wife is just gonna have to get that one because I'm out of tags. All right, here we go. Got them both hanging up. That only took three hours. <laughs> One of the reasons why it took so long is because the buck broke the deer cart. I mean, just absolutely wrecked it. Well, there we go. So now, I'm going to take a few glamour shots here and go get a cooler. Alright, so just a little autopsy here on the, the big buck. Looking in here, you can you can see the, the wounds there. Um, so we got a big one, we got a little one. And there's no exit hole. But I think that's the bullet right there. I feel a little something. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. Look at that. Good golly. That is impressive. I'll clean that up a little bit and we'll see exactly what it looks like. So there's my casing. And this is as clean as I can get it. But look at that. That is really, really impressive. Here's one that hasn't been fired. This is the Winchester Deer Season XP in 150 grain in 30 out 6. Cool. It feels like it retained most of its weight. Uh, having a bad beard day, but that's okay because we're having a good day. <laughs> uh, so, thinking about it, I'm not going to be able to stay another night here. So, I might as well go ahead and take the tent down and put that in the chuck box here. Pack up everything. That way when I come out here, there's not going to be anything left to do but take care of these deer and get them out of the woods. And I guess... I guess I'm going to leave my spoon here, too, in case I need it next time. <laughs> Alright. There it is. All done. And that was an absolute insane amount of work but it's done now so yeah uh, that was a heck of a camp and that's gonna be the high point of the the season it looks like because that's my last buck tag uh, now we've got four deer in the freezer we got one with the crossbow one with the muzzleloader and now two with the rifle so I'm gonna try to get my beautiful, lovely wife, her first deer. And, uh, yeah. I may be out trying to get a doe or two to top it off. You know, fill up the corners. But anyways, guys, that is all the time that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, thumbs up. <laughs>